Welcome back to a brand new episode of Dead to Spud. I'm an Uncle Mac, and our returning guest. Fonz. Fonz, Fon, 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 Fon Izzle, Fonzilla, uh, Fanatical Fonz, you know, this is a million names you can give him, like, you know what I mean? Um, right, today's a great choice, you know, we're having a quick look through the trailers, and we're like, let's try and find, like, a shorter one, the usual Maniacal Max special. Found one that's an hour long. According to IMDB, it's an hour and a half. We checked it, like, to quickly look through, intro, outro credits, and it's definitely the film. Don't know what that's about. Have we got a butchered version? I don't know. But this film's an hour long. IMDb says an hour and a half. I think IMDb's lying. Anyway, came out in 1991. What's this film called? Zombie Cop. Zombie Cop. Zombie Cop. Of course we're going to watch something called Zombie Cop. Standard. Uh, watch the trailer. It looked like it was a very silly film. Don't take yourself serious. Yeah. So I think we're going to have a good laugh in this one of any luck, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what intrigues me is the whole thing. IMDb, an hour and a half. Comments. No one said what's IMDb on about. Version we got is an hour long with intro and outro credits. So, I don't know. Have we got the proper version? We're going to find out. Like, if it's a, butch, a botched version, it'll be funnier, I guess, won't it? Um, also, check out my Rumble account. There's a few extra episodes of Dead or Spread on there. There's not on YouTube, so if you're enjoying the episodes, uh, go on there, because you can find a few extra. Um, but, yeah, I think say no more. Let's do it. It's only an hour long, so yeah, be yeah. back with you soon. Peace. Yes, yes, and so we're back from watching Zombie Cop. Uh, sooner than later, that was actually quite a quick film, wasn't it? Yeah. It said it wasn't yeah, yeah. I don't think it was botched. It looked like it was generally was the hour film. Everything seemed to be in it. I can't say they put another half hour in that film um, for what it was. So, yeah, Zombie Cop opens up then, basically. Um, you have a little title sequence that cool music because you're yeah. talking about that with me. I was like, oh, I'm going to sample that. It was, there was some actually pretty decent music in this film uh, throughout. Um, so it goes, basically opens up then with this guy called Dr. Death. Like a voodoo priest. Yeah, yeah, so you've got kind of, uh, yeah, silhouette shadow kind of. Starts off, doesn't don't he? Really see it, see some hands and stuff. And, and then he's got like that bowl, isn't he? And then we're joking, we're going like, what's he putting in here? It looks like fucking cocaine at one point, but it's like flour in it. And then he cuts himself, but he cuts himself upwards. And I'm like, oh, you would like die doing that. But no, he cuts himself upwards don't, with the blood in it. Don't bother him. Uh, he puts the, the mayo from the burger shop. Mayo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a shop and some, um... and then his own blood, and then yeah, out of nowhere, there's like, I don't know, can I don't know, concealed cum or something. Yeah, that's all I can say. Some bubbling, gooey mess. Yeah, and then yeah, he lights it up and it goes on fire somehow, and then he just downs it like a fucking yeah, he just, tramp. Is he just he just downs yeah. it? So my theory is he's on coke the whole film and everything's in his head because like at that stage he's fucking nuts. Could be. What's that? Fucking mayo from the burger van. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it looks like mayo from the burger van you get. Special sauce, isn't it? What kind of special sauce? So mayo and cocaine yeah. is how you do voodoo magic. Is that? I never knew that was the main ingredients. Upwards, you're nuts. What are you doing, you nutter? You would not looking at what he's doing. He's looking at the ceiling, then. I do mean. So this guy's already dead then, because if you cut upwards, that's... that's it's the... fine, mate, because that's strawberry ice cream sauce. Oh, right, you fill yourself <laughs> with ice cream sauce. Right, I get it. You overfill yourself with strawberry ice cream sauce, so you don't bleed. You just seek that out, right? That's, that's terrible blood. <laughs> <laughs> Look very gluey. Yeah. Oh, don't drink it. Oh. So is that going to make him... Incredibly high, I imagine, with that amount of cocaine okay. put in there, bro. And sugar. Just to... Yeah. Take the edge off, like... <laughs> too cool, isn't it? So it, then it cuts to our two copper guys, who in the film, our, our main guy becomes zombie cop and is uh, um, his sidekick. Then in the car, isn't it? And it's all kind of rolling, like, you know, you can clearly see people who are in the front and back out of frame just fucking yeah, pushing the, the car. The guy's never... Well, I, I, the guy's just a terrible actor. The, the, the side guy is... Because that's something you mentioned straight away. Uh, Doctor Death, the, the voodoo priest, is really funny. Uh, makes an effort, and uh, the main guy, he's actually good. But then we do see later in the film when he puts the bandages on, his acting goes down on one scene, but he, he picks it back up a bit. Like, but they're the only good actors. So it shows them in a card or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I think what gets me is the fact they've got their lights on. Yeah. Yeah. So they're no, obviously no. chasing someone or whatever. But he's just casual. But he's proper driver, Miss Daisy. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's a Sunday driver, mate. Well, he's, he's waving all over the road, to be honest. I think he's drunk. Yeah, but they go into a scene because they're trying to find Dr. Death. They've been hunting him down. 
So they turn up and there's a silhouette going on. Well, we'll talk about the little silhouette thing, bro. Yeah, so he just kind of, he looks, you know, from visually looks like some guy's kind of giving his, giving his girl some grief. And, yeah. Um, uh, I, he's, I think he's giving her an examination of some sort, mate, I'll be honest. Where's he going to prod them pipes? <laughs> And then they just turn up to this building, right? And then they know where Dr. Death is somehow or whatever. So um, they see the silhouettes going on. And then Dr. Death ends up putting up the blinds, screaming out the window, which at this moment is closed fully, and they can hear him yeah. somehow. It's over. You let me go in the killing it's tonight. Wait, can you hear you through the window? So then a zombie cop, I mean, guy goes, right, I'm going in, while the other guy stays down there kind of speaking to him through the window. So Zombie Cop goes up then basically to go and sabotage Dr. Death. But what happens when he gets into the room when he thinks he's got the one up on Dr. Death? What has Dr. Death done to get the one up on Zombie Cop, bro? Oh, he says he's prepared some lovely, uh, lovely concoction. concoction. He's got a mannequin. So what you thought that woman was as well? In oh, the, the mannequin. He's oh, yeah, mannequin. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, playing he's with them the whole time. Mannequin. Just playing with them the whole time. Where the, where the bottom is. Yeah. Who knows, you know? Yeah, but, uh, and then yeah, the concoction he does then, that's when he ends up throwing it. Yeah, it bounces it? off his face and then kind of no. magnetizes back yeah. into his face. It does, it does, it literally does. And Continuity's it's... not the greatest in the film, <laughs> kind of, like, to be honest. Hell, what? That bounced off his head, then it was on his face. But he does that, doesn't he, boo? And then he's saying to him some shit about, oh, I'm going to curse you... Um, uh, if you kill me and I will kill you and then you're going to be a zombie and then the, the cop is like, no, 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 no. So he ends up shooting fucking um, Dr. Death and he's on the floor and he's like, I've had the better view after his face is all like, ugh, with the thing. And then what does Dr. Death do when you think he's dead, bro? Just out of nowhere, bro. He outdoes uh, the master. He does probably the quickest draw on a gun I've ever seen. Literally, Literally from, from dead to up. fully awake. And then shoots our fucking cop guy and he's like, ugh. So then fucking... He's like a toddler, mate. It's very good. They go, bang. Literally, yeah. but he shoots before he wakes up. Maybe he's like, reborn. bang. Maybe he's reborn. <laughs> oh, John Marston <laughs> eat a heart out on Red Dead when you got to do the fucking... You know, when you draw fucking yeah. Dr. Death and murder them all. <laughs> he had better technique for cops. Yeah, that was hilarious. It was hilarious, bro. But, uh, yeah, fair but he, play. He takes on Zombie Cop, doesn't he? And Zombie Cop's now kind of dying, like, and he's like, yeah. I curse you, like, you're not going to die, you're going to basically live a life until your rot, flesh rots and that. So at this stage, then, fucking Side Cop decides, oh, I'll go up and help him, which you should have done in the yeah, first Yeah, yeah, so he shoots place. the window. Did you know I mentioned that? Oh, yeah, sorry, mention that part, yeah. He shoots the window, uh, smashes, well, yeah. smashes. Because um, the shot then shows the window... No oh. glass. Next thing you know, he pulls the curtain and the window's been slid open. <laughs> yeah. well, that was a terrible open. reaction. How was the window now open? The window was open then. He's, he's not, he, yeah, he... he, he it went mad. It was like... Open. Well, no, no. It was just bad effects, mate. It was, that's what I mean. You were here smashed, didn't you? Well, but they've actually... You didn't yeah, even see his yeah, poop pulled open. open. <laughs> Like, absolutely brilliant. So I should have mentioned that, yeah, as this zombie cop comes in, he's, uh, first comes up to him, the guy from outside shoots through the window, but then he just slot the window open. Amazing hours. Um, so yeah, so zombie cop and the guy fucking dies and it just cuts straight to the funeral. Mm. Where yeah. zombie cop in, the guy's like, oh, all moaning about it. And it's like, oh, so he is dead. Um, the guy goes back to the scene then, doesn't he? And he finds a book. That's right. And then it's on by all porn mags and he's like, Oh, what's this? So he takes it, as he does. Does something smart, I guess, in the whole fucking film. Then the next scene goes to the fucking graveyard then. And then this is when our cop has become zombie cop and arises. And he looks... You were saying, when it? It's like, if you look zombie, you'd be frustrated getting out there. But he looks more like he's in pain. It's like <laughs> a zombie. You wouldn't look like you're in pain. You'd be more frustrated than anything. Come on. I'm guessing that's the cop. Yep. Look at the way he was all, like written his name. It looked like a four-year-old made that fucking gravestone. Uh... I'll be honest, if you're a zombie, you're not going to be in pain now, you come out. You might be frustrated. Yeah. But he comes out to yeah, grief. Who's there to meet him? When he comes out of his grief, who's oh, literally just there to meet him? It's only uh, Dr. Death, you know? 
in the same clothes you got oh, yeah. murdered in. I don't know if you got if you don't know if you got buried or anything because they're pristine. Yeah, yeah, that's the disappointing thing because they take Zombie Cop away and also Doctor Death's dead because they mention it later, like you know he was found with Doctor Death dead. So you think, oh, obviously they've done everything, buried him, but oh, Doctor Death somehow between the cops finding him just fucked off, never explained. I think he shot his pants and he's got poop in him and he's like, ah, ah, ah. I've seen worse makeup. It's not a bad zombie, I suppose. He's alright, actually, yeah. It's not a bad zombie. Dr. Death! <laughs> Same clothes, sure. I cursed you. I killed you, Mr. Police Detective Man. <laughs> you can't be dead. I killed you. I won. I beat you, Death. Oh. How old are they for? No, I can't be dead. I killed you. I killed you first. I killed you. <laughs> God damn you, Death. Basically, Dr. Death's basically saying to him, like, oh, you're cursed. And he's like, oh, what's going on? He's like, hi, I cursed you. This is what's going to go on. And then Dr. Death fucking runs off because someone in the car turns up and it turns to manhunt the game then, doesn't it, for a little brief moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, hides behind the bush, and then the guy's like, I'm going to you, I'm going to get you. And it's like, what the fuck? Why is some random redneck turned up with a shovel to get a zombie cop and he knew nothing about it? Any explanation? Pesky kids. Them goddamn pesky kids. That's what it was, yeah. So he, he was like, let's get this goddamn zombie. We're going to kill you. That turned into the game Manhunt then, bro. When you're in the shadow and you've got someone going, rip my feet, I've got a game leader, yeah. That did turn into Manhunt. Uh, next scene then, it goes to a zombie cop's friend looking at a book that he uncovered. And he's like, hmm, i got to work this out. Um, I'm going to go to the police station. As he goes and does that, knock on his door. Who turns up? Oh, it's obviously Zombie Cop. Zombie Cop turns up. And his friend, what's his reaction when he sees his friend? Uh, I don't know, to be honest, because the guy didn't have any emotion. Bad so... acting. But he's he's very much like, oh, you're a zombie and alive. Okay. You? I saw you die. Yeah. Uh, I was at your I was at your wedding. At your wedding, funeral. funeral. Yeah. And I saw you, I saw you die. You were bleeding. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's just but, very well bothered. Because at this just, point, we're saying, I know it's a low budget thing, but at least the other guys are trying. This guy, he looks like off camera. He's just reading his lines or something, doesn't it? Yeah. This might look like Joe Average. Hey, I, I mean, in the trailer, he oh, looks like a mummy, doesn't he? His face is covered. You're going to stick out more looking like that than that. Than he does. If he's in a cop suit and he just wears a hat, you might go... Did I just see a weird face? But go on. When you're covered in bandages from a mile away, you're gonna be like, "What is that?" But then that's kind of a shitty scene. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you, I don't know if you caught it in the actual thing, but as he's about to open the door, it's almost as if he goes into slow motion. Oh, I think after. Oh, it's great. I'll have to look back at that. It was brilliant. Hey, facts from Fowler. Come on, pretty baby, let's do the shimmy slide. Um, um, he ends up giving Zombie Cop the um, uh, the outfit of a cop there. And he's like, I've got my alter outfit. It might be small. It's like, hold on, you're still a copper. What do you mean it'd still be small? Surely your outfit would, like, whatever. But he's yeah. like, and also, you're some gloves. And because you're minging face, we're going to wrap you up as well. And he's like, yeah, sure. Not offensive. Not takes but nothing by it. And then at this point, we're laughing. Because ironically, the main actor's a zombie. And the, se and the side guy's a human. But he's acting. The humans act more like a zombie. Yeah, yeah. The zombies act more like a human. Uh, yeah. And we're like, whatever. So, so he takes it and they're just like, oh, we got to go into, you know, get the, the, the drug smuggler guys and all that. And then zombie cops like, I'll do it my own time. Goes to a scene then, doesn't it, bro? In in like a in, in a convenience shop, you got these two little punk guys. They're going to go uh, looking around. They're going to buy things. Goes to the counter guy. Our first thing is like, all right, this guy's got just come from a spy. He's got a towel on his oh, head. Yeah, yeah. Our first thing is like, I don't get it. Why does he look like that? And he's looking around at these guys. We're like, oh, I'm guessing he's going to be like a Karen kind of character. Just come from a spy. He's like, oh, I don't want no trouble from you. What is the whole joke with him, bro? Because we, we tried working it out on a few scenes he comes in. Yo, oh, it's victim. And it. I don't know what that is, mate. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. 
Like, I get this supposed to be a funnier dad, but I don't get what he was trying to do in that moment. Like, is, is he supposed to just have had, like, his... You know, like, when women go to a spa? Yeah. Is that what it's supposed to be? Like, he's just... He's getting his hair done while in job? Is, is that the joke? I, I, I'm confused. Could, do you know what the joke was? Uh, eventually. Yeah, eventually we find out. Because uh, he speaks. Because at this point, they, like... So, basically, these guys come to the counter kind of thing. They come yeah. with the beers and all that, and they, they hold him up then with a gun. Uh, we'll come back to this guy. Keep in mind, though, he's got, like, a towel on his head. And me and him are scratching. And maybe head. a bit of fake tan. Yeah, and a fake tan. That's what, that was what put me off. And we're like, what's going on here? But it never goes into until later on. But we're going to come back to this. So this guy's in here, and we're like, weird. People hold up the counter, and then zombie cop walks in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes in to... Uh... So, yeah, they're holding up with a, with a nice shotgun as well. Yeah, and the Limp way he's holding stage, a shotgun... Sit and you're like, if you shoot again. that, you're gonna dislocate your no. break your fucking arm. Like, so good, good remembrance on how the way he does it. That was a wicked set. That was like a wicked shotgun like that. No one who knows what they're doing with a shotgun. He's gonna, he's gonna shoot that. He's gonna <laughs> like, <laughs> zombie cop comes in. I know that he's like. Got the fucking one up on him. He says something, and they go fuck this and shoot zombie cop. Yeah, he falls to the floor. Yeah, yeah, they laugh about it. Does a Michael Myers comes up? He's behind him again. He can have a shot on him. Instead, he says something. He gets shot again in his yeah. shoulder, and then what does the one guy to to his friend do? The two robbers. What does the one? Oh yeah, so the little kind of I'm gonna call him the little sidekick. The little sidekick robber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what happens to him? Um, he decides to just walk in front of the gun, basically. So his mate shoots him straight in the chest. Yeah, he walks in front of his and mate's it's... gun and his mate shoots him. No um, kind of emotion, like, not even noticing what's going on. No, it's fucking stupid. Be the invisible cop. Or something. The invisible cop. Oh shit, he didn't draw quick enough there. Dr. Death fucking does him better. Dr. Death would have shot him before he got shot. Ah. Yeah, sure did, didn't I? All right, Michael Myers. Let me try. Let me try. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the fact that it's like a little. Why? Sounds like a potato gun. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be a shotgun. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and at this point, then, Zom then zombie pop cop shoots him. I believe. Well, he don't shoot him. He just comes up to him and disarms him. That's right. Puts him to the floor, puts a gun to his head, and he goes, tell me about Dr. Death. And the guy's like, yo, Dr. Death died a while ago. Some copper killed him. Not knowing he's speaking to zombie cop and there's yeah. a copper who killed him. But to, to everyone knows, Dr. Death died there. And this is another thing we're bringing up. Like, you know, how did Dr. Death escape? Surely that news got out. But then... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So he's holding the shotgun to his neck, and he's like, come on, blow his head off, blow his head off. And then the guy goes, you're a cop, and he goes, you're right, and lets him go then. Yeah. Like, and then gives Somehow him... he does. He just gains his, all his values back. And do you know what's weird about it? This guy at this stage, you don't get arrested, even though he's a copper, because he come, he's not in the jail enough. In the next scene, like you see this fucking guy he's holding the shotgun to, he's just fucking out freely, so we don't even arrest the guy. He just nope. leaves him there. Zombie cop guy, just leaves, leaves this guy Gets a there. bit of information off him. Yeah, because he's talking about Dr. Death yeah, a bit. Yeah, because he used to work for him and all that. That's right, but... yeah. But then he's convinced. They're like, hey, Dr. Death is fucking dead. On five, I pull the trigger. Since he put that bandage on, his acting skills has gone down a bit. Yeah. All right, man. Is that like one of the... It gives you like zombie powers, but then you lose a bit of uh, charisma. <laughs> it's like one of them items you equip to your character. Turns into like kind of Robocop. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, you turn more... Like, <laughs> Yeah, more indestructible, but then you lose your personality. Yeah, like. <laughs> but then he finds out something, oh, he might be somewhere. So he goes and speaks to his psychic friend, and they go to, like, a little thing to try and find Dr. Death. Um, and that's when they're, like, kind of chasing him. They find him. They find a foot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But on his own, they're like, this must be where Dr. Death is. As he's going up to a stair thing, he just fucking pops out of nowhere, doesn't he, Dr. Death? Kind of does. Out of nowhere, they're trying to find him up in, up in the cell and just pops out. You don't try and do a sneaky on him, he just makes a fucking thing. Holds uh, one guy at the side, goes, I will slash his neck if you want to fucking play games. Zombie cop's like, no, fuck this. Makes a shot, Dr. Death goes on a run, runs straight past zombie cop. He's like, oh, feeble as fuck, down the stairs. And then zombie cop goes running after him. What's that? A foot. A... That's a foot. Oh, 
foot in the side. I'd be knackered, mate. I'd be a cannibal straight away because I thought that was pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good zombie cop. You did everything you would like. I love how he's just accepted that his mate's like just a zombie and he's like, got questions, fuck off. Yeah, boy! He's shit, death just got past him, piece of piss. While sidekick guy fucking stays behind, being useless as fuck. And then that's that scene, basically, when he kind of catches up with Dr. Death. He's about to go to a door and he goes, I'm going to shoot you and blast you into bits. And then Dr. Death basically explains to him, if you kill me, there's a curse and you're going to die. And he explains to him, like, you're slowly rotting as a whole. So, zombie cop lets Dr. Death go away. Psychic guy comes, he's like, where is he? He goes, I let him go away. At least he admits it, I guess, you know. You know, next scene, then it goes into the sidekick guy. He's fucking uh, rummaging around his house. Dr. Death comes in and basically says to him, like, oh, you're going to do and my bidding and my work. Get involved in this thing that comes into it now. Um, have you grasped up on me? He's like, no, no, I didn't know you were alive. Don't kill me. I'll be a sidekick. So it's a big scene of that. Yeah. That's all we need to do to explain that, really. Dr. Death, uh, sorry. Uh, so Zombie Cop at this stage finds out Dr. Death is going to a school to kill children for some reason. That's right, he is. So then uh, they know all this, so they end up going to the school. It's a Sunday because the girl's walking her on, there's not a single student. Nope. She walks around the corner, Dr. Death is here. Yeah, yeah. Snatches her, gives her to the sidekick. Zombie cop turns up. He says, basically, yeah, take her, slash her throat. Yeah, you need you're going to sacrifice her? Sac yeah, sacrifice for sure. So zombie cop turns up, lets the guy with the girl just fucking walk off. Even though the guy's like, I don't know about sacrificing. Dr. Death's like, if you don't take her, I will kill you myself. So he fucks off. Um, and then it's basically zombie cop and uh, Dr. Death. He's yeah. got a shotgun. Look at her attempt. Look at her slaps. <laughs> 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 I love how death don't bleed. You had a chance to shoot him. Come on. And they're just chasing each other. Loads. He's they switch around. One he chases that one chases one, the other one chases shoot, the other. Shooting him left, it's right, and centre, and like not, a game of tag. Not a single bit of blood comes out of him. They end up going into a forest. So while he's chasing Doctor Death, psychic guy ends up chasing young guy with the girl. That's right. That's how they separate because there's a part when the young girls all slapping him in the face, and you even said on the credits <laughs> that was like someone related to someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing we gotta mention that happens. It happens actually in this scene um, when actually I mentioned that now, but the girl looks like it was someone related to whoever was there because her acting. Place, yeah, there's it? a lot of you could tell the cast in this film is very very low. Very, yeah, very low very budget. Low, very it's low. basically People right. Doing we favors, need extras. It's favors. favors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, just getting the family in, like. So redneck guy then, which we you do mention earlier, that little bit of like, oh, actually, comes into it now. He's getting chased in he now by a side cop guy. He's, yeah. Guess away. Psycho guy comes on a car, takes him 20 seconds. So even though he's been hit in the head, he still managed to get in the car, get away. The gun's changed sound now. It sounds like a shotgun. Now it's outside. Now it, yeah, you're right. Not when it's inside a right. small it should, little shotgun. It should sound a lot louder inside. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> ah! Hey, you better cut it out, little girl. Cut it out, little girl. See him try not to laugh when he said that line. Cut it out? <laughs> Are you serious? That just happened. Yeah, yeah, apparently, mate. They made him like 10 years younger. Why is copper taking 20 years to get around the car? Like, what? This copper is crazy incompetent. <laughs> well, we know he can't. Well, apparently. Psychic cop's chasing him now. Zombie cop is just chasing our main Dr. Death. Um, shooting him constantly with a shotgun. Be just getting up and running away. Yeah. Constantly, like not a drop of blood comes. He runs through children's parks and you see like extras like, what the fuck are they filming here kind of thing. And then it's a random scene when it just goes back to this guy we mentioned earlier in the shop now with a towel on her head. And we're oh, like, what's the, the joke of this? Oh, the information. So we're um, getting information from, from the robbery. And this is when we work out what they were trying to attempt. Yeah. So I'm guessing um, 
the kind of shopkeeper is kind of stereotypical kind of Indian, Indian. guy. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. He's not an America, Indian. He's a white of... guy with glasses who's tanned up and wearing not even a turban, just a towel on his head. It's a towel. Like... It's just lich. I don't even know how they've got it on his head. But this is where this is what's mad. It's like although they're supposed to be your stereotypical Indian guy, it was so badly done. Our first instinct was this guy's been to a spa. Like, because that's how yep. it looks, like a towel on his head. And he was like, oh, because when he starts speaking, he puts an Indian accent on, he's speaking with a copper. And we're like, are you fucking serious? Like, I get us night you want, I get us back in a day. But even then, I I would have been like, there's no punchline. There's no, what is the joke of this? What, he's just an, a white guy playing an Indian guy behind the counter. That's yeah. it. There's no extra meaning. So while he's fucking doing him, uh, speaking to him or whatever, a copper, Zombie cop and fucking is running after Dr. Death randomly outside. And they just look and go, oh, well, and carry on the conversation. That was a whole build-up and a joke for that whole scene. It was really weird and pointless. Pointless. I think it was just filling. Filling. Pure filler. I I get times were different, like, and they were in in the early 90s and that. But make it a bit better, eh? No, but even, like, watches back in the 90s, I'd still be the same and be like, what's the joke in it? I'm really confused. Okay. What's going on? It's a terribly tied turban. Like, like uh, yeah, it don't look like <laughs> that. That's why, that's why I thought it was a woman at a spa. Yeah, it looks like he's just washing his hair. But it looks like a kid's fucking onesie just put on his head. Like, it looks like a chicken on his head. Like, you know when you roast a turkey and it comes out? Yeah. Like, or before it's roasted, it looks like he's just put it on his head. So, zombie cops chasing him. Um, and they end up going through a fucking house at one point, boo, don't they? Um, and then that's when we're saying, is this a fucking director? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was filmed yeah, yeah. completely separate. Oh, you could see. I, I'm pretty sure it was like... It was 100% separately Say this was filmed on 60 mil. It was literally like a budget handicap. Yeah. He was doing kind of post-production or something. And then someone else came in. Yeah, which we think is the director who's just sitting there. like Because basically, zombie cop is chasing Dr. Death, runs through the back of a house, smacks the door, and then he goes to a guy just watching TV or whatever, like, he's not even noticing... Shoots back the Doctor Death and Zombie guy running through the house. They run past the living room where the thing is. Does a close up of the guy, and then when he goes back to the living room, there's no guy there. There's no sofa there. So our theory was they filmed it just zombie cop chasing chasing um Doctor Death just through a house quickly, and then the director went, hmm, I want to Quentin Tarantino myself, put myself in this. Filmed himself on the sofa and just went. Go robot ninja. Ah, oh, robot ninja. That's a fucking film. Uh... It's on the list to be watched, bro. Nice. I think it's the same director, mate. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a. That's guy. what he said, yeah. I'm guessing that's probably the director. That's the director, I bet, yeah. He looks like he's, he's filmed that. He post- just cameoed himself he's... and promoted his own yeah. film, like, yeah. He's filmed that in post production, hasn't he? Yeah, he's not in the same room as him. He's not lucky, he's a completely different room. He's done that, he's been. He's editing. <laughs> And he's like, oh crap, I need to put something in. Yeah, I'll just oh, quickly I'll tell you what, trick film it. I, know, yeah. I want to quit and Tarantino it, like. That's literally what it <laughs> was. That's literally what it was, boo. Ah! Just kind of cut to that now and then. Um, they run through it. And then basically, Doc, um, as fucking Dr. Death comes out, he jumps in a car with Redneck Guy. Yeah. And then uh, Zombie Cop catches up with our sidekicks, like, hey, I was chasing him. So they're in cars conveniently, chasing each other, and explain nothing where, although they're next to each other they shoot him yeah there was just again more continuity in the cars again like it wasn't it wasn't a bad chase it's like if you took out all the in car stuff because but they're like shooting the behind again, and then yeah. it goes to him next to yeah each other. suddenly a they're there. switching there's no it was no continuity the properly cuts, between the it, cuts like... the cuts are bad yeah failing large like the weird thing is like there was no shots down there when he was doing that. Are you um, shooting in front of the car and he's next to him, mate? That's the funniest bit. Yeah. Like, and Doc- then they'll go to the shot again and they'll be right next to each other again. See? And now they're moving full speed again. Zombie cop and shit, didn't he? So they're like the just... Cars are all over them, the place. It was one cool thing where like zombie cop ends up getting on top of their car and it's like, oh, that'd oh, yeah, be yeah, pretty yeah. decent. That was the only decent thing about it. He's actually on top of it. And you're like, this is generally being done because this is before the days of green screen. You can see that they're generally driving with him on top. They are driving. It's not the fastest chase in the world. No. no. Um, you can That's see that thing. it's it's filmed very yeah. low. But respect from actually but, doing that. You know, Dr. Death ends Good up sense. then just going like this. I'm putting a curse on you and the car gets fucked up. That's why he yeah. jumps on a car. And he's like, 
Why didn't you just do it like right in the beginning of the film? Put a curse on everyone to stop getting you. So zombie cop like jumps on top of the car um, and ends up fucking the the young guy ends up fucking getting killed because he goes boom shock and blasts him. He goes into a fucking tree. What's he doing? He did a curse and made the guy lose control of the car. Why do you just do this a whole film? Fair play, someone's on a car while they're moving, bro. This is actually generally decent. Mm. So, zombie cop then goes chasing Dr. Death. Young guy goes into the car. Uh, sorry, psychic goes in the car and sees fucking the other guy's dead. And then the psychic guy then gets fucking shot in the leg, but you never, like, it shows it quick. And then he's there, basically. We were joking about, nah, fuck off, he just sprained his ankle, didn't he? He's fucking useless. So then he's laying there going, I can't do nothing. So zombie cop just goes, chases Dr. Death now in the forest. <laughs> like, Dr. Death just don't care about being blasted with a shotgun. He needs to go into an... He needs an explosion, mate. That's what it is. He needs to be decapitated or something. Are you going to be all right? Where's he even being shot? I couldn't well, tell about him, mate. Like, you just... You literally just got killed. I reckon, like, bro. He didn't even get shot. And he sprained his ankle. Well, yeah, he, he didn't even get shot. He just sprained his ankle then. That's what happened. And loads of it. He's just shooting... Shooting him constantly... They have a little back-to-back -back where Dr. Death is trying to fight him with a handgun like that. And then, you know, uh, Zombie Cop is beating him up with a shotgun. They just decide to stop shooting each other because it's going nowhere. They get then to, like, the end of what you can call a cliff. But we're joking about it. It's like, that shit that, as a kid, you would jump and slide down. It would never kill you. But they make a big deal, like, because then, like, they're having a fight and whatever. We find out that Wood... Is more effective than hitting you with a shotgun in this film. He starts beating up Dr. Death with wood and he's actually having a better with him. But a shotgun blast does fuck all to him. Yeah. So, hitting him with a bit of wood does more damage than hitting him with a shotgun. And shooting him shooting multiple out. times. So, you just beat him up with a piece of wood. And then he holds him right next to the end of this cliff, which literally, we're looking at it and we're like, fucking hell, we used to have back in the day on a bike, we're just right down now. Why are you acting like, and he's going, oh, if you kill me, it'll be the end for you. But then, I don't know how he's holding him either, because I'm pretty sure by the neck, that guy is shorter. Yeah, yeah. Than him. That don't make sense. That and don't make sense. That don't make sense. Yeah. That's what he does. He holds him next to a cliff. And then basically, cut long so short, he throws him. And there's like a little bit of a tree stump coming out now, but far. So even if you threw someone down a cliff, he's at ground level rolling, somehow ends up on like high enough to land back down on this tiny little stump. But then when and it zooms... Tree grows. Yeah, but when it zooms out to Dr. Death... It's up here. Yeah. And so then we're like, that's not going to kill him. He's been shot off a shotgun or whatever. Like, you know, that's not going to fucking do it. Plus, he clearly stipulated early in the film, if I die, zombie cop will die... Because my curse is keeping you basically alive. So we're like, oh, is there going to be a big twist to it and all that? Uh, no, uh, pretty much fucking Dr. Death actually mm. dies that way. And we're like, what the fuck? I mean, we're like, really? Like, you know, there, there's no more than that. Fuck him. He, he's going to be fine. You shot him with a shotgun. Like, what? That's like something you jumped down as a kid for a laugh. Oh, there's a little spike he's going to land on somehow, is it? What? Ed. Are you for real? I know. Somehow went through his chest, yeah. even though he was ground level when he rolled into it. He would have snapped it. And that and wasn't the same. Did you, did you notice the shot before it, it was probably that much yeah, off the ground? And then suddenly, it it's like... The tree on. got <laughs> spectral, like, yeah. The tree stump got an erection, mate. Do, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. So that's how he killed him. He's not dead, bro. You shot him with a shotgun like a million times. You think that killed him? A tree stump. Zombie cop then just basically goes back into like the um, same shot. Stops a robbery from happening. Just to basically say that he's still going to be doing what he does, but as a zombie cop. And that's kind of it. Yeah, it is kind of it. Who do you call me? Oh, he didn't. He did. For the trailer. He did. For the trailer. Dr. Death don't come back to say, well, hold on. How is, how is zombie cop still alive if Dr. Death's dead? Because he stipulated, if you kill me, the curse breaks and you die. No. No. Weird. Weird. Uh, it was a weird one.
Very, um, very strange one. Like, um, I think there was another scene I didn't mention, which I'll put, I, I'll probably put in the edit actually at some point. We talk about a director comes in at one point, doesn't he, in the scene? Yeah, yeah. I think it's another one with a car. Like, it's just a random person. We're like, why was Ali near? That's like that's right. the yeah, writer yeah, yeah. or something, or the editor was like, I was, Fuck yeah, it. was doing the car case. Yeah. Somehow we managed the to get The director's the chucking himself yeah. in it. Fuck it. I'll do the same. It's the it, same thing. You just weren't. That's it. Because the guy's driving a car and he sees them both coming. He's like, oh. And then when it cuts to him and that, and it goes behind him, there's no other cars in sight. Clearly filmed different. But I think that was the editor then going, fuck it, the director's yeah. chucking himself in randomly, I'll do the same like. Uh, holy crap. What? Again, they weren't even in the same shop, bro. Complete separate shops. They weren't even in behind him. That was probably the writer. I, I look like yeah, that, was the the that was the editor. That was the editor. It was like, mate, oh, the director's chucking himself in this film. If anything goes, I'll have a go. Look at this. But I think we've covered everything. If there's anything, I'll put on the end. But yeah, do you want to give like your final thoughts, or maybe give it a dud or a spud, good sir? So, uh, what would I I'd say about this film would be like it's what I imagine is kind of like a high school kind of film club film. That they phone mm. some money at, you know, and it's literally just kids and. It's a very low very, budget it's thing, very and low it's budget. very, I guess, communal based in the sense that a lot of people. It's a community. A lot of people probably like, you know I mean? got paid pennies if nothing just to be in this film, like you know. What I mean? Try and make or break up, but like there was, there was, there was good bits. Like the characters weren't too bad. Like mm. the main two, your zombie cop and you, and you, and you can't. Luckily, our main too. characters. They were, were all right. The best ones. Do you know what I mean? Um, they didn't look too bad either. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't overdone. Yeah. Zombie was. All right, looking zombie, if you know what I mean. Until yeah. they covered him with yeah. like a mummy. Yeah, turn him into a mummy, basically, yeah. But, like like you said, the plot didn't make sense. No. There was no ending for me. The ending there was was rubbish. It kind of ruined it for me. Mm. Um, It had it had potential. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. think the trailer was probably better than the film. <laughs> Fair play, yeah. Um, mm. So... um. Yeah, for me. Ah. So that is it, bro. It is a that is it. Um, I you know, funny enough, I'm going to echo a lot of you said. The potential was there. I really was enjoying it in the beginning. Only an hour film, so we weren't a botched version. It's generally only an hour film. Uh, but yeah, mate, like like, yeah, it was kind of like the ending was a bit shitty. It was a lot of unanswered questions. Like I know the budget was low, but. I think this would have been much better as a short film, like maybe yeah, a 20-minute yeah. film, and yeah. just leave it at that. There but was far too much filler. Yeah, a lot of filler. Um, but yeah, I'm going to agree with you. Although, like, it was close in line. I respect what they did on that. Like, yeah, like, kind of. I think it was about three quarters of the way through. I, th I can't remember if I looked to, but I was like, oh, man, it's losing this fucking it's magic. Right. Like, it was good at first and that, but it got boring fairly quick. So, respect from trying it and doing what it's done, but I'm going to say a dud. Ah. Um, not, not like, you know, your terrible film. I no, respect oh, no, them, no. but... I have to say a dud. I can't justify a spud, sorry. But, you know, respect to trying it. If they have done... Ro what was that film that the director... That's why we say it, because the director's watching Robo Wars. Robo War or Robo War, Robo Ninja, one or the other. Robot Ninja. Robot Ninja. I'm pretty sure I've got that already in my list to watch, so I'm guessing it's the same director, so... That'll be interesting to watch Jeez. down the line. Not saying I won't watch another one of his films, but yeah. We won't get it. better. You know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for joining us. I've been Manayo Komak. Might be me. He's been fun as <laughs> all. Thank, as I said, thanks for joining us. Until next time, see you again soon. Peace out. Take it easy. Uh, uh, Maniacal Mac. Uh, uh.